Hello everyone! It's been a while, hasn't it? Welcome to my next video for the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. That's right, I am back! And I am going to be tackling the Evil Gaze level 200 Lufenia quest as part of the uh, Act 3 Chapter 1 story release. I think that's it. Basically, we're going to be taking on the freaking Medusas. Now, anyone who follows the Japanese version knows that this Lufenia is definitely one of the least fun experiences you will have playing the game. And I'm happy to report that that is indeed the case. Um, and this time, I'm going to be going in with a team of Ultimisia Hope and Uninite with an Ultimisia friend and a Diabolus summon. So there's a there's a few different approaches to this to be fair. Um, there is also an approach that doesn't need you to have your own burst weapon and you use Gao and Gladio I used as counter characters. That one I cut pretty pretty far down to the wire but I managed to pull it off. Uh, but if you have Ultimisia and especially if you have Hope um, then you should be able to lay the smack down on the enemies as long as you either have an Onion Knight friend or you have your own Onion Knight or you have an Onion Knight LD call and the Shiva summon. Uh, basically, you need some way of dealing ice damage to the enemies because, oh my god, where do I even begin with the enemies on this quest? So, they're really irritating because they all cleanse themselves at the below 80 and below 50% HP thresholds. They'll gain shields at like, I think they gain shields twice, so at 70, like at 69% and like. 29% I think or something to gain shields which is really annoying um, and it's like 150k bravery shield you have to get rid of. They have damage reduction towards specific damage types depending on what colour they're glowing. Um, they will arbitrarily decide that you can't delay them or delete their turns at certain points. You'll be able to see that because their, their icon in the turn bar will gain like a, a, a lock around it. Um, like a claw effect. Um, they're immune to all imperils, which includes framed imperils and debuffs that contain imperils. So that means Kurosami's Hyoro is completely useless because that can't land. Um, that means Kryl is useless because the enemies here are only weak to earth and uh, ice, not lightning. Um, and Kuja is useless, lightning's useless. Well, they're not useless, but you know, you ain't going to get the imperils off with them, which they kind of need. Um, to work. So all in all this is very 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 restrictive as far as Lufenias go and it's got basically all the bullshit mechanics you can think of which is probably just as well because the degree that I was shit stomping the past few Lufies, you, they're gonna need to bring something out to counteract all the overpowered crap that we've got at this point. Um, so they just decide to give the enemies a bunch of cheap shit to throw at us. Um, Luckily, there's ways around it. The first time I cleared it, it was like 74 turns, and I used the counter team with like uh, Gladio and Gao uh, and my own Onion Knight. Uh, in fact, my Onion Knight doesn't have his Lufenia armor. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it or not because I don't see myself using him a lot in my actual party. I think it'd be a waste of tokens, and I can definitely complete it just with his LD, uh, just with him as he is. Uh, so I'm going in with Ultimisia, and basically, we're just going to be doing the turn deletion. Um, and we're going to be, you know, we're going to be ramping it up as far as we can go. And hope is especially useful here because the enemies are immune to elemental imperils, but they're not immune to magic imperil, which uh, which hope can definitely help out with. So, without further ado, let's jump into it and let's see how we go. Oh yeah, another thing that's bullshit about them is that their recast ability. Um, if you get broken by it, then you're petrified permanently, and. Even w okay, so I'm just going to do a regular Hell's Judgment because this does actually refund the use of skill two. Um, yeah, even more bullshit is um, they go through bravery shields. So if you have if you have wall, for example, um, you can't prevent them from damaging you through the shield. Um, so even if you have wall shields, if you get broken, you're still fucked. Um, so that means that characters like Hope and Gladio that can reduce bravery damage are actually really really super useful here. Um, and I'm just I'm just gonna go straight in with a with an LD. Very nice. So they're glowing yellow, which means they're vulnerable to magic attacks. It does tell you on the description. Uh, aura color, yeah, yellow, magic, vulnerable, high defense. Purple, uh, melee and ranged, vulnerable and high speed. So they got high defense, but they are. Um, they can, they can take magic damage. Oh yeah, and the Lufenia orb only appears um, below the 50% threshold, but you can't cancel it, and basically you need to deal ice damage. So you need some sort of like, you need you need some sort of ice damage. I'm talking Shiva Summon or Onion Knight is basically your main two options here. Um, everything else kind of doesn't work. Even Kurosami, there's not really much point in bringing him, you know what I mean? 
So I'm going to go in here with this, um, and I'm not actually going to do an LD. I'm not going to do an enchant either. Um, I'm just going to do EX for now, and we're just we're just going to take the damage. It's probably not even going to be enough to proc the Ebola, if I'm being honest. Yeah, look, like we're not we're not taking enough damage like at all. Um, let's get up this. You see how the enemy on the right took more damage than the one on the left? That's because we've got the Ultimisius frame debuff on there, that Sorceress Hatred, um, which lowers defense a noticeable amount. Uh, okay, so the first one of the Onion Knight LDs I'm going to pop now, just so that we get the, the aura effect up. That would hit so much harder if I had his armor, but I'm not buying it just for this stage. There's no point. Okay, nice. So we get a free skill, of course, because on the United LD is busted as hell, and it gives you a free skill for your entire party, which we're definitely going to use on that. Um, meanwhile, it's just your shell. They're also, I think they're also immune to generic defense down as well. So, the frame defense down will work, but the generic debuff doesn't. Okay, so that's only a bravery attack, so that's super, uh, that's piss weak. Now I'm going to, uh, now I'm going to enchant. Okay, so... First things first, let's do this. Hmm, now what do I do? Do I bring in the friend Ultimisia here? I think I do. I think I'm gonna do that. Or do I even use my own at this point? trying to figure out what's the best way to go about this. Let's do it. I'm just going to go straight into burst. Let's just maintain the advantage. So this might actually have been a little bit of a scuff burst now that I think about it because, I mean, uh, look at this, the enemy is about to get his recast rate up, you know what I mean? So that's, that's not very, that's not what we want, like at all. Now we've got double turn rates on A, which is also not what we want. Hmm. And I don't want to blow another one of these because, well, I just don't. Okay. No. You know what? I've 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 I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Emergency protocols. Um. Emergency protocols, let's bring in my Ultimisia, I fucked it up. Let's 
Let's get these things out of here. There we go, now it's gonna now it's gonna do the bravery shield bollocks. Uh, which is actually fine because I'm gonna sub in the friend Ultimacia. Oh right, and they've um they put the they put the turn lock up at this point because of the shields. That's that's fine, that's fine. Because I can do this on the first turn. And then I can burst, and then we'll basically wait for that to go away. Um, still not ideal though. Let's be honest. I definitely think I jumped the gun here. So the reason I wanted to save on the Knight's LD is because of these shields. They're a nightmare to get rid of. Even though I just kind of shredded through that one. But let's just, you know, let's just pretend I didn't have it. Um... Yes, it is. I definitely think I screwed this up, by the way. They've both got the frames on them. Okay, that's... that's kind of fine. That's kind of fine. We can at least get rid of A for a bit. Okay, so definitely not like the best in the world, but you know what? It's functional. I can, I can work with functional. So, probably the best thing to do is either wait until... Either do it first thing, um, before the shields even come up, or wait for the shields to actually um, appear. And then wait for both of the shields to go away before you do any of the turn deletion shenanigans. Because otherwise you're going to end up in a situation like this. Perfect. Not, I mean, not perfect, but good enough. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're not doing too bad. I need to refresh this though. Especially because... oh god. What was the, what's with the turn rate junkiness? The enemies are about to go into a... Um, they're about to drop below 50%. So I definitely needed to do that. Go. We've got the Lufenia counter up now. So we need to get Hope's debuff back on there like yesterday.
Mmm, yeah. Let's pop this. And then we get the debuff back on. This is a really nice debuff, because not only does it give you magic and peril, but it also gives you 30% extra bravery damage. Which really, really adds up when we get into all the bravery damage reduction that you run into on Lufenia. Like, it really does. And I brought Diabolos, but I don't think I've even triggered the Diabolos passive yet at this point. So that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Because of that purple glowing eyed bastard, um, we absolutely do not have any bravery gain going on. Because while ever these things are kind of staring at you like that, you have bravery gain reduction out the wazoo, which is also annoying. You know, these enemies are just like, they basically just wrote the book on bullshit mechanics. It's, uh, it's, it's quite something. We've got eight turns left on that, so that's fine. Oh yes, of course. Why why wouldn't you suddenly get a frame appearing? You know what, I'm not going to EX this turn, I'm going to EX next turn. Oh right, yeah, I forgot, they're below, they're below the, the threshold. So we can, I can actually use Jack's LD now, because they're not going to dispel again. We can actually start dealing some proper damage to these chaps. Let's do this for all the good it will do. All that 5,000 regen, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's what I like to see. By the way, let this fight in itself be a demonstration against the doubters of Ultimecia. Do, do not doubt the ulti, she is still plenty strong. Oh look, here we go, more bullshit shields. How kind of them to delay themselves for me. Okay. So we're going to summon on Onion Knight's turn over here, I think. Um, it's about time that I used my last LD to get rid of Z shield. Please don't ask me why I brought Diabolus. I was expecting to take more damage than this. I was really expecting to take a lot more damage. I should have brought you free, dude. Or like Shiva or something. Hang on. That... This guy has not been affected by Jack's debuff. I'm not doing any damage to him. Oh, well, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I don't care. Whatever.
you damn right I'm going all in. Let's get those attack buffs up. Let's go. I don't know how they were weak to... They're not weak to darkness damage, are they? No, then... Oh, but they are weak to magic. Because they're in the yellow form. Interesting, okay. Oh, no, that's because of hope, sorry. <laughs> See, I'm losing track of all the effects. There's so much shit going on. Uh, purification, let's go. All the damage. All the time. Ulti can take the summon, I don't care. Let's just rush them down before they get to, like, make a move. That bravery damage, that's what I like to see. Okay. All the imperils and other bullshit we've got going on them. I've not used his skill 2 once yet. don't think I can kill them before Ultimishi takes a turn, so I'm not going to use skill 2. I don't think I can, I'm not going to risk it. Because what we need to do... Make sure we don't die to this. Okay, that's fine. Okay, great, fantastic. What's our health looking like? Okay, we're within we're within parameters for health. Uh, let's pop Pinello as well because why the hell not? And that should be it. Go on ulti. Bring it home. Because if you don't, we're pretty screwed. There we go. Okay, that's the Medusas out of the way. So that looked a hell of a lot a hell of a lot easier than it was the first time I did it. And that's purely because Ultimicia is ridiculous. And I did have Onion Knight there with the LD to uh, for the party enchant so the Lufenia orb wasn't a problem. So if you have access to these characters, um, I haven't finished my Onion Knight's artifacts yet, but if you have access to these guys, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you give this lineup a try. Maybe even bring Brothers and not friggin' Diabolos because he didn't really do much. I don't think I took enough damage. Um, yeah, that is going to be my, uh, my initial clear of this pretty infamous Lufenia. Um, I'm going to be going back into it with another team. I'm going to be bringing the counter team so you can see how I do it without Burst and without Ultimecia and Hope and, and all these other characters. So that's going to be it. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and until the next time, take care and goodbye.